There will be no bond for the San Antonio man accused of shooting his ex-wife and stabbing his two daughters, killing one of them. Last week, a bond hearing was held to discuss whether Stephen Clare would get his bond lowered or revoked. And today, the judge decided to keep Clare in jail. Our Erica Hernandez takes us inside the courtroom. We have shown proof evident that he is guilty of capital murder, that a capital murder has been committed, that he is guilty. And there is no doubt that this man is a future danger. The state in final arguments urging 437th District Court Judge Joel Perez to revoke bond for Stephen Clare. Clare, an Alamo Heights nurse practitioner, is accused of shooting his ex-wife and brutally stabbing his two-year-old and 11-month-old daughter who died of her injuries back in April. Clare was sitting on bonds totaling up to $3.5 million, which the defense was trying to lower. Judge Perez, after reviewing all the evidence over the weekend, made his ruling. We're going to grant the state's motion to deny bail. A decision defense attorney, Daniel De La Garza, wasn't okay with. Well, we're obviously a little disappointed with the judge's decision, but what I'll do now is I'll go back to my office, I'll get back with my team, and uh, we'll continue investigating and um, seeing about giving Mr. Clare the best possible defense. Now, this case will remain quiet for now as we await the indictment. Once that indictment comes down, then it'll be up to the district attorney's office to decide if they will pursue the death penalty. Now, a death penalty case has not been tried in Bear County since the 2021 trial of Otis McCain. At the Kathina Reeves Justice Center, Eric Hernandez, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.